this is the part two of the video if you haven't checked out part one i will try to add the link go ahead and check it out now again a quick recap we have a queue and a queue will have a retry of three and the first item or every item will have two stages to perform that is stage a and stage b let's assume that stage a when it tried to process it completed and it failed it did not process stage b of the transaction item now since it is a retried item the next time when it comes and it process like this new item it should not process stage a it should only process stage b how will you do that this is one more interview question that is asked in cognizant now how will you answer this let's try to understand like q item will have two stages stage one stage a and stage b okay now how to handle this after completion of every stage in the process state you can set it or you can use set transaction process progress or you can use the transaction progress so this is an activity that will help you to set some key value pairs so that you can revisit it or when it comes the next time or when the same item is picked up the next time the status will be stored like okay stage a is completed now after completion of stage b i will again set the status as the transaction progress as stage b now something that you must understand is when you are using set transaction progress it will set the status or set the progress as a string value now if you want to store both okay i want to store stage a as completed as well as i want to store stage b as completed now how will you do that before we set the transaction progress just go ahead and concatenate with the existing status if there is any so you can use something like transaction item dot progress and then it will give you the text value and then concatenate with stage a completed now along with this you can also use after stage b like when you are setting this transaction progress for stage b just go ahead and use this since stage a is already completed it will stay in the queue item just go ahead and give it a try now transaction item progress plus stage b completed now what will be the current transaction progress of this complete item it will be stage a completed plus stage b completed what if it failed after stage b and it, it did not set it is not able to set the transaction status to successful then if the item is retried again how will you avoid both stage a and stage b and directly go and set this transaction to successful simple before you start with stage a process keep an if condition and check transaction item dot progress if it contains dot contains and you need to check for stage a complete so what this will do before you start with stage a you are checking if stage a is already completed or not if it is already completed then don't do it so you can just write a not condition over here not transaction item progress contains stage a so this will help you to avoid any rework of the same stage of a current transaction item same goes for stage b you can before you start with stage b just go ahead and add a if condition instead of stage a check for stage b and then after stage b completed just close it so this will also help you to avoid any rework of the stages stage a stage b can be like you add data in application one and you don't want to add it again in the next run and stage b can be a different application where you're trying to add the information or where you're trying to extract the information so this is one of the questions that i have faced and hopefully this should be helpful for you in answering your 
next interview question and if you want me to answer any of your scenario based questions go ahead and do post me or directly dm me i will be able to do that for you see you in the next video all the best for your interviews